survive. Uh, so this is another Minecraft stream. Uh, what I've been doing uh, since playing 3D Minesweeper the other day is I've been trying out a bunch of different uh, survival worlds, survival seeds if you like, uh, to try and find something that's a little bit interesting uh, that we can play a couple of sessions in. And uh, I started off with, there was a jungle seed, and that was quite interesting. Uh, I haven't come across many seeds where you could be spawned in a jungle. Um, and there was a lava lake in the middle of it, and that was interesting because it set the entire jungle on fire, uh, which slowed the game right down, uh, because jungles are quite resource intensive anyway. Um, and that would probably be terrible if I was streaming uh, at the same time. So I decided against jungle. I also found a parrot. Uh, I befriended a parrot, and the parrot started making creeper noises all the time, and that was terrible. <laughs> I, I kept jumping uh, because this parrot kept making creeper noises, and I realized that I can't keep parrots, can't have parrots as pets. Uh, it just isn't going to work. Uh, we had a couple of interesting village seeds. Uh, I like a good village. Um, survival 4 was really boring. So I didn't know what to call it, so it just it stayed as survival for um, swamps and cows. That was a really good seed if you like swamps and cows. Uh, that's all there were. They were just swamps and cows. Uh, Savannah and ice plains was interesting because they were right next to each other. So you had this really cold biome right next to this hotter biome, um, and that was quite interesting. Uh, desert village, rifle spawn in the desert village seed. And also a monument uh, that was visible, uh, sort of um, fairly close to spawn. Uh, so that was quite interesting. I nearly went for that one, uh, but the one I ended up going for, and the one that we're going to be playing, is called well, it's called New World because I don't want to spoil what it actually uh, contains. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to recreate this. Uh, we're not going to call it copy of New World, but we're going to call it. I guess we'll call it Survival Stream. Um, game mode survival, that's about all we need, and uh, let's go, I hope we spawn in a similar place to where I spawned the first time I generated this world. Um, so we should spawn in planes. Um, hopefully. This is not planes. Okay, that's fine. Let's try and find our way to planes. So we've got, like I said, we've got some wolves, so that's always good. Come back and get some dogs when we've got bones. They're much better than parrots. They don't make creeper noises randomly in the middle of the night. Um, which way is the sun rising? I think we're going this way. So we're a couple of interesting things I found this one. We're definitely not going for that roof forest, so I think yeah, we, we must be going this way. Lots of wolves. Great if you're me, not good if you're a sheep. Is it sheep they go for? Is it chickens? I think it's sheep. I think it's sheep. This is right. So we leave this little area and head for the plains over here. Uh, the, I definitely did not get caught by this chasm <laughs> when I was testing this out just now. Pumpkins, that's quite nice. Grab some pumpkins. I'm not going to take note of quite how deep that chasm is because I don't think it's going to be near to where we're actually going to end up. It seems a pity to leave that eye in there though. That's okay, it's fine. It's alright. Okay. So... Horses, which is good. Sheep, which is good if you need to make a bed. And of course, we'll take some sugar cane just in case we end up with the opportunity to make cake. Uh, 
Which way is the sun? <laughs> there is, oh, it's there. So we're gonna go, and we're gonna go this way. Yeah, this feels right. So it doesn't look like, you know, it's uh, quite as promising as some of those other seeds that I mentioned at first. But hopefully, hopefully we'll find something interesting and we keep running in this direction. Plenty of horses to choose from when we come back um, after getting some saddles. Whenever we get saddles. Find some in a dungeon, maybe. Or eventually, who never thought. That's not quite why I picked this seed. Now it's now it's you've got hundreds. So we can take that one and that one. Maybe a couple more. Starting to chatter a little bit. S struggling with maybe the streaming and playing Minecraft and, and whatever else it's doing. So I think uh, I think just on generation sometimes it's a little slow to start as well when it's generating new chunks. Lava lake. Oh, it's got a surface lava lake setting things on fire. At least it's not in a jungle this time. And, ooh, what's that? So you can see we've got some colder biome here. But we've also got something very interesting looking just jutting over that hill there. So we're going to head on over. an igloo. So what's nice about this is I should just get a bed for free. So that's nice. And is there anything under the carpet? Yes, the horses. Let's uh, plunge down into the darkness. There we go, we've got our priest. Oh my god, I was on the project, and I have no idea how they got themselves into the situation, but here we are. They're under a, under a, a glue in some weird basement. None of this makes any sense. Uh, maybe we're still going to have to go to the nether to get nether warts, we can just use it. Every, uh, every potion is going to require nether warts in this. But this is a good start. So we've got a little house for the bed. Whatever misadventure went on here. We've got some time before sunset. Let's explore a little bit more. And what's really interesting is 
you can see there are ice spikes in the distance. So it seems to be that whenever you find a rare biome like uh, sunflower plains or ice spikes, mushroom islands, those are, they, they're always uh, like the rare versions of regular biomes. If you head diagonally from one, you tend to bump into sort of lines and lines of other rare biomes. It's uh, a theory I've come up with anyway. I think. I think it tends to work. It's really interesting, but these ice spikes are so close to the sunflower plains that are diagonally down there, for example. I'm not sure if it's along any particular lines, whether it's northeast, southwest, or northwest, southeast. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe it's it's not a thing at all. Maybe I'm just I've completely I've, I've invented that. But, um, it's uh, an observation that I've come across anyway. Um, what's interesting is that the more I think about it, the more I realize that's it's obviously true. And if you head in any direction from a ray volume, you're going to wind up in another ray volume. So if you head diagonally from a ray volume, you are going to wind up at a ray volume eventually. Like you literally, you cannot prove it false uh, without any um, any measurements, sort of like hundreds of blocks or thousands of blocks. Uh, it's it's kind of it's a meaningless thing to say, really. Hit a red biome and you head diagonally in any direction, you will hit another red biome. Hopefully, we won't bump into any polar bears because we have nothing at all to defend ourselves with. Try hide by uh, putting a pumpkin on our head or something. Attack it with sugarcane. Distract it with sunflowers. Well, the sun's starting to set, so maybe we'll head back to our igloo. And we'll start to uh, start properly tomorrow. We'll get set up, we'll punch down a tree. Get our um, bit of iron on the go, maybe. And maybe we'll cure that zombie villager. See what it turns into. <laughs> Quite easy to lose at Sigla. We should find it. We'll just keep following this river. Against the backdrop of, of the tiger year rather than the snow, so it should, it should stand out, it should pop out. It's not be too difficult to find. Famous last words. <laughs> okay, let's get ready to fight. Right. Potion achievement before we got uh, anything related to crafting. Right, we're going to need a sword. I don't really want to make a wooden sword. Time to strike for that. We've got time to strike by making the sword. Maybe not. Oh god, that sounded like a stray. Oh, no, it was a villager. Okay. I couldn't have kept it in one place to cure it anymore. I'm still better off curing the one that was there, uh, that's, that's in the igloo. 
Will we survive? <laughs> we should have uh, we should have lain down in the bed just to set our spawn. Down. That's what we should have done. Then we would have had a really easy way to get back to the bed. And that is die to a bunch of zombies. <laughs> Stray. Maybe I didn't. Field strays. Yeah, they are. And then the desert ones, you've got husks. Job, I'm gonna parrot on the floor, making creepy noises. I'm gonna be really jolly. Really, we've got to keep trying to head on. So we want to carry on along this river, really. Avoid these creepers if at all possible. I can see like three from here. Ah, oh, and I can hear a baby zombie, roughly. Dear me. Right. Uh... I hate baby zombies. Blow it up with this creeper. <laughs> kind of bonus work. Spikes. I think it's easier to make out the, the mobs. They contrast more against the snow than they do against trees. Of course, it's a little more heavy as well. So it's, uh, it's probably a disadvantage. Planes at least are nice and flat. Sprint now again, so that's something. And the man over there, it's lovely. Just keep running. It's well and truly lost now. I'm really clever. Well, we we'll use we we'll use that over because. I'll make it our first night just a little bit safer. It'll be quite fun to watch. Well, I guess this is more fun to watch anyway. We're running around in the dark with one hit point. Oh my god. I'm gonna die. I'll make sure. 
No. Let me make sure. No. Scary see me. As long as no scary see me. And that Enderman doesn't see me either. Should be okay. I, he can't get in here anyway. You could chase that. It'd be interesting to get an Ender Pill so early on. We're stuck in here. For a minute. This forest, at least, and we should be able to get back the igloo because I've done it twice now. <sighs> Maybe the best way to do this is not by running in the wrong direction because now we've arrived at that root forest that we can get to. So, the opposite direction, it's got to be this way. Before in that chasm. <laughs> They're chasing the scabby. That's great. Definitely chasing a skelly for a minute. Taking the rotten flesh. So, I guess we're in an impasse. Right. So, the sun is. No, we gotta go this way. No, we don't. That's your forest. We gotta go this way. It's much easier to navigate during the day. There are any uh, mobs hidden around by the igloo, then we must have been pretty close. Whereas if it's pretty mo pretty much mob free, maybe we were nowhere near. What we should have done is we should have barricaded the door. Um, just started a little mine or something. Downstairs in the igloo. I have to try 
chopping down a tree. I have to chop down a tree if you want to start mining. Yeah, let's do that again now. Just grab some from here. Should be enough just to get us started, just to get us going. Just around the back of this hill by here. <laughs> Pretty sure there's a hole in the ground there that I more or less ran over the top of. So you're actually quite a way away from the ice flakes. You got this great big distance here. And following the river wouldn't have done anything for us. Right. Uh, so what we'll do is First time I did this, I, the potion didn't end, and I didn't end up hitting the zombie villager, so it's a complete waste of time. So this time, should be okay. So we'll hit him. No, it still didn't get him. Weird. Yeah, I did. I just couldn't target him with the gold map. So it should take. Is it four minutes? Yeah. Maybe it's longer. I think it's slightly lessened by uh, the iron bars as well. So if they're in proximity of one of those, or a bed, and this guy's in proximity, but what is that? Yeah. <laughs> so you know, some of these are going to be monster bugs. Oh! Yeah. No. Ah, that's not what we want. <laughs> that's not what we want to do. We're going to plug that gap. Really Get rid of this iron bar as well so we can trade with this priest. Wait, we can't do this so we don't have enough cash or gold. Sometimes we should be able to do it. I'm not sure if they keep their professions or if they turn to something else. So it looks like he's a priest at the moment. But maybe, maybe he'll change. Hopefully not to a green villager. Can't trade with green villagers. I'll stick around and wait for him. Those zombie noise are just coming from him. Feels like we're surrounded by zombies. And at least one creeper. It's just dark in the igloo. It will be soon, though. It's going to get a little bit harder to breach. 
I think you can still make it if you sprint jump from over there. Not that zombies can do that. Let's go down and see if anything's happening. Shouldn't really be eating rotten flesh. Especially now that I know I can trade it for emeralds. That's probably not the only reason I shouldn't be eating rotten flesh, but it's certainly one of them. Uh, maybe the main one. Take that song, pop it outside, put something on it. Nice, so we've got this now as well. Let's put it on stand. I don't think we need to get blaze bolts, since this is the only reason we'd need to get one. So, we we'll still have to get nether bolts if we wanted to make potions, but I don't immediately need to go fighting any blazes, which is good. <laughs> Got no armor yet. Got no sword. Talking about fighting blazes. I'm hesitant to go exploring through there. Since if a creeper does blow up, it's going to destroy this room. And maybe some of these fake blocks. So there's, uh, there are silverfish in some of them, I think. Zombie doctor. Yeah. 37 rotten flesh. Mine gold. And the other guy was. 36. Undercutting him. Mind gold. Okay. And he kept his profession. They probably all do that. Okay, I said back upstairs. A bladder. I guess. There are no stairs. Time again soon. I think maybe we'll leave it there for right now. Get back to it in a bit. 